But then I wrote a little, my, my origin story. A friend of mine who was a wonderful writer named Madeline Rosenberg, she was reading it and she said, oh my goodness, you have got to turn this into something. Please turn it into a graphic novel. So it was her encouragement, and I had just read Raina Telgemeier's Smile, and you know, that thing's a masterpiece. I could tell that Raina's methods would really work for a story like this. And I was really excited about it because I knew that they were going to be rabbits, and I knew that the speech bubbles were going to be the most important part of telling the story of my experience with deafness. So that's how that all came to be. This book is going to tell the world for me that I'm deaf. And then sure enough, after the book came out, I was finally able to talk about it. It was like, it worked. It worked.